Hi, I'm Casey Morse, young African-American woman living with sickle cell anemia. Hi, I'm Dr. Barria Andamaria. I am the Chief Medical Officer of the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America. And you are watching Healthy Her on Madame Noir. One common myth uh, that is pretty pervasive is some black women with sickle cell trade think that they can avoid the possibility of having a baby with sickle cell disease if they only marry somebody who's white. But the truth is, although sickle cell trait is more common in those of African descent, it can be found in anybody of all races and ethnicities. So it's still important to have the conversation with your partner and to get the both of you tested. And I would say a common myth that comes up as a person living with sickle cell anemia is that you can't do certain things. You can't, you know, go skiing out west and so on and so forth. I would say the best advice that I have is to plan in advance. I've been fortunate enough to study abroad and go to college and graduate and I'm pursuing a career in acting and producing and none of those things would have been possible if I had the mindset of I can't, I can't because of sickle cell. Um, just like anyone living with any chronic disease, nothing should hold you back from following your dreams and doing what you want to do. If you want more information, you can go to the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America's website at sicklecelldisease.org. Or you can look at a Facebook Live event that I was a member of the panel of, and the web address is www.facebook.com slash Novartis. And if you want to learn more about my journey as a woman living with sickle cell anemia, go to Spotlight on Sickle Cell on Facebook, and I'm going to be posting videos for the next few months just about what it's like to live with sickle cell as a grown woman.